Hey everybody, welcome to Your Beautiful Table. Your Beautiful Table is a website and I have a YouTube channel all about helping you make your table beautiful. And today we're going to talk about 25 reasons, I think it's 25, 25 reasons why candles make a great gift, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to your beautiful table, I'm really glad you're here. Consider subscribing if you like content about home fragrance, candles, china, glassware, dinnerware, tabletop linens, all that kind of fun stuff. We are here to help you make your tables beautiful. Um, so, candles. Y'all know I'm a candle fanatic, especially those of you, hey friends, who are uh, regular subscribers to the channel. Love candles. I think they add a... Uh, a special dimension to any home, and I'm burning Lafco's uh, Bedivere Sage Candle here in my studio uh, this morning, so I'm enjoying it, and I'll bring a review of it uh, to you all in, a, in like a little while. Um, and uh, be sure to stay tuned to the very end to learn how you can be entered into a drawing for free candle stuff. We do uh, giveaways here at your beautiful table, so you want to be sure that you're entered to win. All right, so those of you who are candle fans, I don't have to convince you, but I uh, wrote a blog post about why candles make a perfect gift, and I wanted to share my research with you. So uh, I'm going to try to go through this without... Uh, like, there are a lot, right? There are a lot of great reasons why candles are a great gift. And I've got two pages full, but I'm going to go through it quickly so I don't bore you. So keep track with me. I think they're 25 or maybe 26. All right. So a reason number one, candles make a great gift. They're easy to wrap. So they're relatively small. They generally come in small boxes, which make them easy to wrap. Or you can drop them down into a gift bag, some tissue, and you're good to go. Candles won't spoil. So, uh, other than leaving your candle in a hot car in the summer, and even then, some candles will do okay. Um, candles won't spoil if you leave them out or forget them overnight, you know, in a in a cool car or leave them in the garage. Candles won't spoil. Generally, uh, you know, candles m might change color a little bit if you keep them for years. So, you know, in the time that you buy a candle and then give it to somebody, they won't spoil. So, if you're like me and you have friends who have birthdays, but you haven't gotten the candle gift to them, it's okay to hang out in your closet for a little bit until you can see them. So candles won't spoil. Uh, candles can be regifted. So if you give or get a candle, you smell it, it's just not the fragrance for you, candles can be regifted. So put it in your gift closet, you know, write a thank you note, tell a person you appreciate it, put it in your gift closet, and then there may be somebody in your life uh, that you can pass that candle along to, and because they don't spoil, you can keep the gift and then get re-give it. All right, that's reason three. Reason four, candles are always the right size. So, you know, if you give a sweatshirt or a, some item of clothing and you worry about, okay, is this too big? Am I going to offend people by saying, I think you're extra large or extra, extra large? And, or, you know, giving something too big, it doesn't fit, they have to return it, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to worry about that with candles. Candles are always the right size. Um, candles last a long time. So this Lafco candle has up to 50 hours of burn time. Yankee candles, 110 hours in those, uh, cl the classic jars. So candles can last a long time for a reasonable price. And so, um, that way, you know, flowers will fade, uh, but your candle will stay for several weeks or months, depending on the length of burn time. So if you give a gift of a candle, somebody's going to enjoy it and think about how much you care about them, uh, for at least several days. Um, that was number five. Number six, candles are easy to return and exchange. So rather than regifting them, you might give them back to the store where they came from. Bath and Body Works are everywhere. You can send them back if you get it as a gift. Uh, Yankee Candles available in a lot of places. I saw them at Bed Bath and Beyond recently. So you can, you know, take them back. So candles are easy to return and exchange. Um, you can find candles anywhere. This is reason number seven why candles make a great gift. They're everywhere. So from boutiques, small shops, um, lots of um, mainstream retail outlets. You can find them at the drugstore, at the grocery store, at, I shop for them at uh, my local grocery store. I think I just said that. Um, so candles are everywhere. You can find them uh, if you know where you're looking and they have a great assortment. So candles are everywhere, which makes them a great gift. Easy to shop for. 
All right, candles are affordable. So candles come in a variety of price points. You can decide what's affordable for you and you can match that with the gift that you're giving. So especially on sale, you know, Bath and Body Works are there in that, you know, 12 to $15 price point for their three wick candles. Other candles are also um, pretty reasonably priced. So there's a lot of good, like $20 and under price points uh, for candles, which make it a, uh, an affordable gift. You can match a candle to the gift recipient, okay? So, you know, if you're thinking about your friend, you know they love roses and then, or the rose fragrance, or they like pink, then you might find them a pink rose candle. Or if you know a friend that uh, lives in Florida, likes the beach, you might find them a beachy kind of candle. So you can think about the personality of the gift recipient and then match a candle to them. So many different kinds of candles, so many different kinds of people, you can find one that um, matches the gift recipient that you are buying the gift for. Uh, number 10, candles encourage self-care. So we're all overstressed, overworked, um, and it's time, it's good to take a break. So lighting a candle, dimming the lights, bringing the energy down, a gift of a candle can encourage your friend to have self-care. Candles won't make you fat. So this is number 11. So we don't eat candles, candles won't make you fat. And so you can get a tasty uh, gourmand candle, blueberry cheesecake, apple pie, pumpkin pie, birthday cake. You can buy all those kinds of candles. You can enjoy them as the fragrance of those sweet treats as much as you want. Not a ounce of fat or a calorie in them. Just, you know, don't eat your candles. Um, candles are good for both men and women. So we call this the mandal so man candle. So there are lots of fragrances that are appropriate or more attractive to what we would call stereotypically male candles and they're candles for women. So no matter uh, where you fall on the gender spectrum, there's going to be a candle that's great for you and the person you're giving the gift to. Um, I think that was number 12. Number 13, you can match a candle to decor. So if you have a friend that has traditional decor or has beachy decor or has like um, more casual decor, you can find a candle. So think about like a Yankee candle classic jar, more casual and country. Um, maybe a nest candle would be more um, traditional or modern contemporary, that kind of stylish. So lots of candle varieties. You can match the gift recipient and their decor. Um, candles come in lots of colors. So uh, I had a friend uh, that I worked with once that only wore purple. I mean, she had purple earrings, she had purple shirts, purple dresses, purple was her favorite color. And so if I were looking for a gift for her, I would look for a purple candle. You may have a friend that has a signature color or has a color that is prevalent in their home or a color that they love, or you may be thinking about sunshining candle, um, or they may have a sports team. So I found candles even for UNC Tar Heels, uh, which is my alma mater. So if you want sky blue for Tar Heels, you can find that too. Duke blue, sort of a darker blue. So candles come in a variety of colors. You can match it to sports. You can match it to their preference. You can match it to their favorite color. Lots of variability in candles. Candles are quiet. So candles don't make a lot of noise. It's a great gift. They can be on a shelf, unobtrusive, quiet gift, really relaxing. Candles are symbols. So candles can have a lot of uh, uh, symbolism. So think about red candles given at Valentine's Day or at Christmas. So red and love for Valentine's Day, sort of sentimental uh, approach. Pink might be another one. So if you move uh, into like spring and summer, you might give green and uh, yellow for that time of year for Easter. Um, so lots of candles can be symbols. It also can be a symbol of friendship. The warmth glow of a candle can represent uh, the friendship between two people. So depending on the style of the candle and the way the candle is made, they can be great um, symbols. So candles are available in packs and assortments. This is number 18. So I recently ordered a diptyque assortment. I got a little bit of Christmas money and I blew it on candles. And so hopefully today or tomorrow, sometime later this week, I'll get a pack of diptyque candles. I bought three candles for a hundred bucks. And so you can get an assortment. So if you're not sure that um, your friend would like a particular type of candle, you can buy an assortment. So that gives them some variety. And I like that uh, in a gift. 
Um, candles can match the season. So they can match Christmas. You can give Christmas candles. They can match fall, all those uh, delicious fall scents, spring or summer. So you can, based on the time of year, you can give a gift that helps to match the season. You can ship a candle. So put it in uh, UPS, FedEx, whatever. You can ship it. If you order from Amazon or another online retailer, you can have it shipped to your friend no matter where they are. So you can ship candles. You can fly with most candles. So you want to be sure to uh, check the latest TSA regulations. So the last time I checked, my understanding or interpretation of the TSA guidelines is you could bring a traditional wax candle with you in your carry-on. Just can't light it, so no lighters or lighter fluid, that kind of stuff. Um, you could also, of course, put it in your checked luggage um, and do the, um, like, as long as you're not in, like, an overlay in a really hot place, or overlay, a layover in a really hot place, I think your candle should be fine uh, if you're uh, traveling with it as a gift. You may want to um, really check on gel candles. So gel candles are not necessarily solid. They're the gel, and, of course, uh, they uh, gels need to be under a particular... Uh, category. So I wouldn't fly with a gel candle or even go to the airport with one. Um, I might consider a um, regular candle like a paraffin or a soy wax candle, uh, but check with the TSA. But I'm pretty sure you can fly and take your gift with you with the candle. Um, you can splurge on a luxury candle. So if you have a favorite luxury brand, so Tom Ford is the one that I'm thinking about. Tom Ford Fragrances, Primo Luxury brand. If your friend has the same kind of, um, like they have a particular brand that they like, you can match that luxury brand. And so if you want to splurge on a gift and really have a really fine candle, you can splurge on a luxury candle. Um, number 23, um, local candles support local folks. And so I've uh, written and posted about this in the past, but lots of people are local candle makers and you can find them at um, farmers markets or at swap meets or at local shops where folks are selling their local wares. Um, be sure to check out local candles. So local candles locally support local people, makes a great gift and uh, gives back to the local economy. And then 24, um, you can reuse glass candle jars. So I have made flower arrangements out of glass candle jars. You can hold uh, cosmetic brushes. You can put pencils in them. You can re-gift them. You can make crafts. You, you can do all kinds of things, terrariums with the glass candle jars. This one, uh, the Lafco candle, has a beautiful hand-blown uh, glass vessel. Once it's done, you can pop the wax out and then you can use it for like a little tea light. We'll make a great votive, re-gift it, put some flowers in it. will be perfect. Um, uh, put it in the bathroom with a guest toothbrush, those kinds of things. Lots of reuses. Um, 25. Candles are for aromatherapy. I couldn't read my own, own handwriting. Candles are for aromatherapy. So if your friend is stressed out and they are uh, like have a lot of anxiety and they've shared that with you, you could do a gift package with them for them. Put a lavender candle in there or chamomile, something like that, or a lavender candle and some chamomile tea. So you can give a gift of aromatherapy for self-care. Maybe someone is not feeling under the weather. You get them a eucalyptus candle to help uh, bright, be bright and freshening. So aromatherapy, based on what your friend is going through, you can match your candle to help do aromatherapy. And then uh, finally, this last one, candles come in a variety of sizes from big candles, big three wick candles to very small candles. So if you have a substantial gift, it's somebody's like housewarming and you wanna get them something nice, you might consider a larger candle. Or if it is their birthday and you really care about them, you can splurge on a candle. Or if you're doing a hostess gift or a candle give or a, like a gift exchange at work, you can get a smaller gift. So candles come in all kinds of sizes and appropriate uh, for every uh, basically every kind of gift giving situation. Well, friends, that was 26 ways candles make a great gift. Hopefully you've made it this far and you're ready for our information about how you can win free candle stuff. Well, we do a newsletter and I don't spam you with lots of newsletter and it's a MailChimp email service so you can control how much email you get. So what you need to do is in the description box, sign up for the newsletter. And when we hit different milestones for our blog and website or website 
uh, and blog and the YouTube channel, uh, we do giveaways. And so you want to be entered to win. So be sure you use an email address that you check regularly, not some junk email, one that you actually use because I will use a random number generator, find that number on our list and send you an email and say, hey, you've won free candle stuff. Where can I send it? So you want to be sure you get that email. Friends, thanks for watching this YouTube video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to your beautiful table and we'll see you next time.